Good morning or afternoon. I don't know where you are in this world, but we are at Renewed Mind Wellness Center. We care about your mind, body, and soul. And um, we offer services such as substance abuse, um, services for divorces, uh, domestic violence, uh, grief, parenting classes, depression, anxiety, and anger. Uh, you can make an appointment with us by calling 702-331-4484, and that's our Decatur office, or you can make an appointment if you are near Charleston and Franklin um, area um, at 702-629-6555. All right, so um, we're going to be discussing a gamut of things because I have people in my office, and um, I always take into consideration... Um, a person's opinion or their thoughts and so we were uh, talking about pastoral care and um, pastoral care in therapy and it's becoming more um, um, needed or also people are asking more for it so you can know that we offer those services here but when I was discussing the different areas with people that came into the center today um, that summer in the office, uh, they gave me some thoughts on why they prefer pastoral care. So, Patrice, I'm going to let you begin to explain why. Okay, she's um, doing something, Nicole. Well, I would like, uh, I, I prefer pastoral um, therapy more so because it's more personal. Um, I feel like the person that I'm talking to is more into caring about my mind more than caring about the uh, medical um, diagnosis they have given me. Mm -hmm. So it's like I'm, I'm being treated in a more personal manner which I feel more care and love. And I'm more receptive to listening. Mm -hmm. um, Besides someone just listening to me and giving me their uh, output okay. that I'm not really um, familiar with. I'm, I love um, my spirituality, so that will help enhance that more so. That will help me enhance my life. Okay, okay. so spirituality is um, the reason why. And it's a mind, body, and soul thing for you. And you feel like maybe for yourself, therapy that some therapists don't connect with that. Right. Right. And I know that we have preferences. We just kind of like got into a discussion this morning because um, I was telling the them that it, it's like three people here right now. Um, we have the ability to tap into uh, prosperity. Prosperity is mind, body, and soul health. It is the health and the wealth of people, but it comes through the mind first. It's a conscious thing. So here we have a young man. You want to get on the camera? You can come around here. And um, he is, what, 19? 20. He is 20 now. I've known him since, you're going to have to bend down, Scooter. I have known him since he was about 15 or 16. And... Um, impressionably, I, I see marketing in him, but his mom was saying they were talking about sales this morning. And I was telling him ways that you utilize yourself, and that is self-confidence, number one. But then we have a lot of people that are not confident, and that lack of confidence affects, it affects the mind. It affects our thinking. And so I know that you went away to... Job Corps. Okay. And what did Job Corps do for you? Uh, they helped me get my GED and my driver's license. Mm -hmm. And I was able to take the oath mm -hmm. for something that, you know, a little something to help with a career or anything. Like that. Vocation, uh huh. Okay, so I was looking at his demeanor the last couple of times he's came um, to the center with his family, because, uh, yeah, with his family. And what I saw was confidence, but I didn't see that before he went away. I also see him with the ability to listen when we're having discussions. And his ability to listen means that he's got some clarity. He has clarity to listen because a lot of people don't understand you cannot listen if you're not clear, which puts you into a mental health category if you cannot get your mind clear. 
And some of the things that he and I have discussed is his ability to sell. Because you can see the confidence on him. He wearing a dashiki, so he knows who he is. The other thing is, is him knowing that he is confident, or he has confidence in himself. He's able to go out and ascertain what he thinks in a day, which is selling, marketing, feeling good about it. One of the things uh, that pastoral care does is pull out those things in you. Uh, therapists do it as well. But if we have clients that are out there that feel they want pastoral care, we have it here at Renewed Mind. The address is 4170 South Decatur Boulevard, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89103. And it's like whatever you feel about yourself that is not you're not sure about, you can call us, make an appointment, and if it's therapy that you need from an LCPC or from an MFT, we have that, or we have pastoral care. You just call that number, 702-331-4484, and you can get whatever help you need. The mind released from the cares and worry of today will set us on a new path. The other thing that I told them is, is that um, we look at today in society as chaos and we become a part of the chaos. But if we take ourselves out of the chaos, we can see our ability to capitalize on it, which means that real estate is going to be going up soon. People should be going to real estate school. You have to be confident when you sell. The other thing is if you're a marketer, you got to know the language and you have to know um, that that's something that you want to do that you can sell. Sales has to do with manipulation, and it's not manipulation in the character of taking advantage of someone. It is really knowing the populace and being able to influence them positively, right? I said that to you. You feel how you feel about what I explained to you, because one of the, the, the things that I know about myself is not just you know, uh, pastoral care, but that I am able to help people change their minds about what they're able to do. You can do all things through Christ. I really mm -hmm. believe that. Mm -hmm. So for myself engaging in the belief for myself to overcome trials and tribulations, I've taken that over and I speak it into another person's life, such as this young man and his family. But explain when I say to you, you can do all things through Christ now, what it means to you now? Now it means that, honestly, it means that now I can do more in that because I feel like if you're going through Christ now, it's like nothing can really stop you as long as you keep faith with him. If you can keep faith with God, then you can keep faith with anything that you do on oh. a basis. So you start putting God first instead of putting things first, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. And that's one of the things that will help us clear our mind is who do we believe in? What do we believe in? What is your belief system? And I know it's a lot of people out there that don't believe in God or they don't share Christ uh, like um, faith. That's okay. I believe that one, one world coming together because I don't even believe that there should be a discrimination in religion. If God is not the center of your thoughts and your belief system, then you won't have any foundation to stand on. And I go back to um, love. By loving kindness have I drawn thee. Love is what draws us, but how do we separate because of religion? It doesn't make sense. Once we get an understanding that everyone has their own faith belief and denomination, we can, we can love each other and we come together and unite. We, we can't really love God and fight other religions because God is the head of spirituality. So it doesn't make sense. You know, I'll let you guys think about what I'm saying. But if someone came to me and they needed help and they were a Buddhist, do you think I'm going to turn them away? I mean, they might need clothes. We, we, we get clothes in sometimes. I'm not going to turn them away because their soul matters. This physical body that we have is one thing. This physical body this young man has is one thing. But our souls within is what God is looking at. So when I turn a person away because of their faith or, you know, I don't work with them or I shun them, I have to really go back and think about my belief system. 
because my belief system is not even as a Christian I don't believe to turn a person away we have a lot of homeless people out in the streets people are Christians they won't help them you know and I can't judge and I won't judge but what if it was me out there I think you know I've been in situations where I've almost been in that you know position so as we begin to think about these things, what we do is see our way to help each other. As time is going on, the world is going to have more chaos. Um, my, my point was to the people as we were discussing, how can you create wealth at this time? And he is in the mind of selling and marketing. So I was talking to him about what he can do and how he can do it. His confidence is going to take him to the place and uh, his convincing a person or individuals uh, on what he's selling is what's going to make the difference in his life or in that day of sales. All right. So I told them that um, I was going to read a post that I wrote and um, I put on Facebook because I do that every morning and I do it for my own um uh, inspiration and to inspire others. Oh, my name is Kim Warner. I think I didn't even say that. Oh my goodness, because I'm like feeling, you know, some of the stuff and the things that we're going through. I'm feeling it, and um, so let me look at my story every day. So if you go to Kim Warner on Facebook, you can read it and just let me know what you're thinking of of, of what's being said, because. Um, the world um, needs more love. We need more love. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes, yes. And that's what we got talking about. Because, you know, if I have the knowledge on showing a young man or a young woman how to make money, then why should I hold myself back or deprive them of it, you know? Um, that's what we're here for. And then we have our generations, uh, like this young man, that are coming up. And we have to feed their souls. Uh, because there's so much turmoil going on in the streets and we want to save souls we, we don't want them to be a statistic all right so um what i wrote this morning was freedom liberty and justice for all there is a difference regarding the understanding of freedom in christ and i put spirit in quotes because we ought to know that christ is spirit right and freedom living in this world it's a difference in christ uh, living and freedom living in the world. Christ gives one the inner spiritual experience to express his self or herself without lacking confidence. Christ builds the spirit man to believe in the impossible. What is impossible in your life today? And if you're a Christian, nothing is too hard for God. What is impossible? All right, so Christ builds the spirit man to believe in the impossible. While the world denies and individual possibilities beyond conformity which is a state of mind all right so what my question is or what i'm saying is christ feels the spirit man to believe in the impossible uh while the world denies an individual possibilities beyond conformity but you got to recognize conformity while we are twofold beings there are laws we must keep living in this world a question to ask yourself would be, what is keeping me from feeling true freedom, liberty, and justice? Question, question mark. You see, our feelings of disconnect is what we experience when we live and feel as the world associates uh, us to. So the world is expecting us to associate. Some of us are bound because of that. All right. But on the other hand, our connection with God or Christ gives us freedom to experience feelings of joy expanding from within our being into our outer world. Now, I said in myself, that is glorious because I felt a praise when I was writing it. And um, you will need to write that thing out and the feelings that come with it that have kept you bound. After that, compare your thoughts and feelings to the scripture below. You will then see the, nece see the necessary alignment for your growth. And the scripture that I uh, wrote down was uh, 2 Corinthians 3 and 17. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. So where is liberty in your life? And what are you feeling bound by? It's going to be up to you and me to... Uh, 
find the balance and come into the freedom because no one else can do it. It doesn't matter where you go. You're going to have to do it. If you go to church, it's going to still be up to you because you got to dig in deep and find out why you are bound. If you have sickness, it's a it's a bound a bind a bondage. Some people will get upset when you say you can heal yourself, but you know, that is the purpose of Christ to know the power of healing, the raising of the dead. It's not fictional because our bodies rejuvenate when we go to sleep. Every or, or organ and cell is recreated over an 11-month span. So these are things that we have to learn. The other thing is, is that if you're financially bound, who put you in that position? And if that's an inheritance, you have the ability to change it rather than being frustrated. And that's where we get into the pastoral part because here, yeah, uh, because what we're saying is you don't have to be bound by nothing. You can be in the company of people that can help you recognize your gifts and talents. And that is a spiritual thing, okay? So not to delay or go on any further, but you can call if you're convinced that you might need our help. We have therapists, we have counselors, we have group therapy, and we do group therapy on a spiritual level as well. You, some people don't want spiritual, um, however, we um, respect whichever way, so we have these components. And so you can call 702-331-4484, and the location is 4170 South Decatur Boulevard, Las Vegas, Nevada, 89103 and make an appointment today, okay? God bless you. I'll talk to you soon.